Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Edit Care. Today I have brought a new session on API test automation. How you can automate your API testing. So basically I will be uh, executing this code in Jupyter Notebook. Uh, so I felt it easy to execute our API testing using this ID. Uh, if you want to install the same, uh, you can refer my previous video. So that video will be available in my description. That link for the video will be available in my description. You can use that. And now like for performing API testing, I think you all know this, what are the HTTPS codes. So if you're not aware of this, so I will have this link in my description. So you can go through this link and see what are the error codes, HTTP error codes and what those uh, error code means. And then uh, we'll have a couple of uh, like uh, API testing web, web pages. So where we can test our APIs or script. So basically we'll use this uh, JSON placeholder dot typecode.com so maybe I will place this link also in my description box this one as well as a regress dot in these two links I will be available in my description and the thing is like we'll be using Python request module so the documentation for the request module is available over here in this link so this link also I will be copying my description box so please go through my description box and get all the links so it will be easy when you uh, when you are trying out this and the last is like this is jsonveer.stack.hu so basically like whenever we are validating an endpoint the data is always loaded in uh, mostly loaded in the json files so that uh, data will be parsing over here and we'll view in the json file so that like we can uh, view the endpoints view the data correctly and then uh, test it accordingly okay so uh, request module uh, for the for the API, so we have a couple of authentications, uh, basic authentications, then we have uh, digest authentication, OAuth 1, O2. So today we'll be starting with basic authentication and in my next uh, videos, I will be using it's basic and digest almost similar. So we'll use only basic authentication today. And in my next video, I will have this OAuth 1 authentication and OAuth 2 authentications. So, <clears throat> so let us move forward with our uh, testing and uh, First of all, uh, you need to install a couple of modules, uh, uh, two modules. Uh, those modules are uh, requests, so pip install requests. So in my case, it is already installed, so it will just uh, say satisfied. And the next module will be JSON path. So that will be used for uh, reading the JSON files. So pip install JSON path. This is, these are the two modules you need to install for your execution. So this already installed. So let us move forward. So in my line, so import. So basically, uh, first of all, what I'm going to do is like, I will be using this web page and the data from here, the endpoints from here, I will validate it. So these are the JSON placeholders comes with a set of six common resources. So these are the resources that are there. Um, if, you do, if I do a get request, so I'll be getting these data. And then I have something for post, put, patch, delete. So I will go one by one. And then I will go with this regress dot in for other features, say uh, post for registering. If you are registering any login, user and ID and password. So we can do that as well as like a login, successful, unsuccessful, all those st stuffs. So first of all, let us go with this and uh, see get. So we'll use this as since I have less number of users. Otherwise, like more number data will be a little bit uh, difficult to show now. So let me go with this and I will just copy the link address. So I'm going to do a get request. So basically in uh, API, REST API, what we have like we have get, post, put, patch, delete. So five uh, API calls that we are making in while performing our, performing our API testing. So let us do our get request here. So first of all, we'll do is like import requests next is like import json path then a variable response equal to requests dot get and the url now how to get the status code so before uh, knowing like what are the arguments available here let us see this 
print dir resp so if you run this print dir resp so we can see what are the arguments or calls we can make with response to this resp variable so what are the things we can make is like how to see the status code so whether it is uh, what the, what status code when i'm calling this uh, get request for this particular web page what is the status code here so let us see where is the status code over here so this is the status code so in my next statement what i will do is like print resp dot status code sorry status and hyphen code so it says 200 so 200 means i think if you see the status code 200 is okay means our script can connect to this particular web page and now we can have couple of other uh, uh, things like uh, we can get the outputs like in uh, print resp dot content so we are getting the outputs this contents in a bytes format then we can get the same output in text format also so this is the output in text format if you see and the next is like we can get the outputs in JSON format. So normally we are looking for the JSON format. So we'll use this uh, JSON format for our testing. So till now we have got a variable. We have got the request from the particular web page. Sorry, web page. And I'm just seeing what are the DIR resp is like. What are the uh, status? What are sorry? What are the arguments we can make? We can make with this particular resp variable and i got a status course this is 200 so i'm getting successfully connected to that particular api web page or api endpoints then i'm getting the output from whatever the response to get request right so i'm getting the resp.json so let me copy paste this particular information in our json viewer tool so let me check in the viewer mode so this is the way viewer mode if you see like I have uh, 10 users information like if you see this JSON placeholder this has 10 user information and similarly I have 0 to 9 so 0 to 9 user information so now how we can validate the users so what are the users over available over here if you see like in 0 I have uh, the ID one with uh, Leon Graham so let us see how I can get this data from this particular JSON format So next, what I'm going to do is like, I will just create a variable, say resp1 equal to resp.json. Then print resp1. So first, what we have is 0. So it is 0. Then the next what we have is name. Uh, let okay. Uh, let us just print this zero. Like uh, so, what are the uh, data inf data available for this resp data resp zero? So let me run this. So I have this particular information under this uh, list. So now for this particular resp zero, or uh, I have this particular data. Now from this I need to get the name. So it's very simple. Just get this print resp and then and the error and that name now if you see here it prints me Leanne Graham so this is what you can verify whether my name is available or not so for this for very very validating uh, this particular user exists in this particular data or not so let's say like assert I'll just put an assert statement assert resp1 0 name Graham sorry Graham so if this is true then don't write anything if this is false then say like wrong user so let me run this code and if you say like since the username is since the name is correct and it exists over here so it says it doesn't print anything but if i have something else i put a one over here and let me run this script and it says like assertion error it's a wrong user so 
this is how you can assert and validate like assert uh, you can put a assert statement and you can validate uh, whether that particular user exists or not so let me try uh, something else say like I have zero then address I need to see the address what is the city name so let me go here and I will just uh, print this instead of name I will put address because since it is under zero so I'll put address directly and it should print me the entire data for the address so if you see I got street I got suit city name so let me get the city name over here okay just I'll put assert statement assert city equal to city. so this means like this particular city is available or this uh, now I will put something else then it will show an assertion error also you can uh, see like if any uh, city exists with or if any city uh, uh, like if, if any zip code is available with the last number of data say like uh, zip code dot and suite uh, 3874 say 3874 so so if I say like and suite so it should say like ends with this particular data ends with this particular number then it is a right uh, a zip code else it is a wrong one so it is a right one so I will put something called 5 here and it should prompt me up with the wrong such an error okay so I think this is very simple guys and uh, you hope you have understood this and uh, okay so next I will show you how you can so this is what you can do for the try you can also try for the other steps now say like for the post one this is for one post so let me get uh, this for the all number of posts are the all what are the posts available but uh, since the data is huge so I will go with a single post only uh, so I will just copy the link address and I will just see over here and uh, <coughs> so I will just enter over here let me put it over here or let it be what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with another suit so let me go with another cell and so we'll see print rest dot status code first and sorry status code and then I will start with print resp dot json so it the status code is 200 success and this is the json file for uh, one uh, uh, json file for uh, sorry uh, sorry sorry this is not users so this is for the entire code it commented so like I need to go for posts one copy link address okay so this is for one user alone and let me put this in a JSON format so this is what the JSON format here and we'll see like title print resp dot json title yep so we can directly view this and let me run the script it says the titles yep so it is printed this uh, title over here so basically this is how you can do a get requests like how you can perform uh, using basic authentication 
so like uh, similarly i will take the same statement here sorry i will take this uh, same script over here in this block or cell and i will just uh, have this or th auth equal to braces so if you have any user id and password so that argument so that that particular value should be passed over here and it will take that authentication so this is how you can uh, uh, use the basic authentication process basic authentication method so this is how you can do that so now uh, now guys uh, let us see how we can make a, uh, a post statement so how we can put in data or new entry to the server for this uh, we'll use this uh, post so the similar entry will take i think it is already available over here so we'll just uh, take a copy paste of this uh, entry so uh, first of all we need to change here post it should be a post and the uh, endpoint should be post sir so if you see this uh, path here it's a post so we'll use this particular endpoint and and for this like we need to have an uh, we need to pass an argument set data so what data we are going to upload right so data equal to payload so we'll define a payload here so payload equal to so now what are the items over here like what are the dictionary items over available over here so title so let us see first title title and uh, let us have set test and body we have called python so let us run this and say like whether we are creating a new entry with this item or not so let me run this script and if you see like we have created created a new item with this title test title test and body python and id is 101 so this is how you can perform a get and post a request using python request module so for today i would like to conclude here and in my next video uh, you will see like uh, me uh, how we can perform uh, put statement how you can perform patch delete and couple of other endpoint requests using post so hope this uh, video is helpful uh, to you and if you have uh, any doubts you can always get back to me at my email address uh, provided in my uh, account that is seraphic uh, javed together at gmail.com and uh, if you like my video please press like button and for more videos please do subscribe my channel thank you for watching